This is for you 12 methods that comes out of chapter 11, 11D question number four. So what's going on in this question? I've been given this derivative. So if y equals the integral of dy dx, then y is going to equal the integral of a e to the minus x plus one dx. which will be y will equal, if I anti-differentiate e to the negative x, it's going to equal negative a e to the minus x plus x plus c. So I've got two unknowns. I've got an a and I've got a c. So I need two pieces of information to solve that. And that's what I've actually got over here. When x equals 0, dy dx equals 3, and y equals 7. So I've got when x equals 0, dy dx equals 3, and when x equals 0, y equals 5. So I could put this into that equation and get one equation, and I can put this into that equation to get the second equation to solve them simultaneously. So, looking at this one, then 3 equals x equals 0, a e to the 0 plus 1, 3 equals a plus 1, a equals 2. And then I now know if a equals 2, that y equals minus 2 e to the minus x plus x plus c, now I can use this piece of information that y equals 5 when x equals 0, minus 2 e to the 0, plus 0 plus c, 5 equals minus 2 plus c, c equals 7. So now I know that y equals minus 2 e to the minus x, plus x plus 7. And the question asks me, find the value of y when x equals 2. Well, y of 2 will be minus 2 e to the minus 2 plus 2 plus 7. It's going to be minus 2 on e squared plus 9. So y equals 9 minus 2 on e squared when x equals 2. So to go back to the question, I was given two pieces of information here. When x equals 0, comma dy dx equals 3 and y equals 5. So this piece of information will go into the equation that is dy dx equals and this piece will go into the equation y equals.